Tom, really good to see you. Today we're talking about conversions as a gift to your beneficiaries. When considering which assets to leave your beneficiaries, there is one asset that is loaded with taxes. It is, of course, IRAs. Inheriting an IRA is very different from inheriting a Roth IRA. So can you just start by explaining the difference between taking distributions from a traditional versus a Roth IRA? The, the main uh the main problem is with a with a traditional IRA, 401k, that kind of plan is taxes. Right. That's the big difference, right? So uh, every dollar that you take out of one of those plans is going to be ordinary income. Uh, so you're going to be taxed at whatever tax bracket you're in. It, it, it could count um, towards provisional income if someone is receiving Social Security. It could hurt someone's uh, aid or benefits that they might be getting. Uh, whether it's Medicaid or special needs, trusts, right. uh, lots of things. Uh, a Roth, obviously, uh, it's tax-free. So the distributions, even as a beneficiary, uh, the, the distributions you're going to receive from that are going to be tax-free. They're not going to count towards provisional income. Uh, they're not going to hurt. They shouldn't hurt your, um, to a degree anyway, they're not going to hurt any type of aid that you're getting. Uh, but, you know, you always want to check with your tax professionals, uh, um, you know, for for your own personal circumstances. Mm -hmm. But taxes, that's the big issue. Taxes. It all boils down to taxes. Now, to make matters worse, after the SECURE Act, most non-spouse beneficiaries can no longer stretch distributions over a lifetime, but instead will have to drain the entire balance out in 10 years. That is quite the tax right. burden. Right. Uh, so th that's going to probably affect, uh, you know, a simple number, 90% of all beneficiaries, right. non-spouse beneficiaries. Uh, so it, it could be a problem. Uh, on top of that, what might make it worse is if the person who owned the account, the person who you inherited that account from, was taking required minimum distributions. That means you have to take required minimum distributions as well for those 10 years uh, and make sure that that account is drained within those 10 years. So it, it, it could be a double burden. Uh, it could be a big problem for some people. Again, you know, uh, people who inherit that, that are working, it could uh, push them into a higher tax bracket. Right. Um, we know taxes are, and tax brackets are going higher in the next two years, mm -hmm. in 2026. So it, it could have a big, big effect. I mean, at the end of the day, people could end up paying 40 to 50 to 60% taxes on those inherited assets. This is why we have to talk about this, right, Tom? I, yeah, this is, absolutely. I know something that you're very passionate about because we think we're leaving behind this tradition, this wonderful financial legacy, but right. instead we're saddling them with these huge taxes. So I just want to come back to this. Converting your IRA to a Roth really is a great gift to leave your beneficiaries. So the conversion being one strategy, but you actually just published an article recently about a strategy you're calling the synthetic Roth IRA conversion. Can you explain the two, please? So it, the, the article was a couple of years ago, it wasn't that recent, but it still holds true today. Uh, I wrote it for Ed Slot's report, and it actually got picked up by the Wall Street Journal as well. Mm. Um, but the, the, the idea is simply is, look, if you're going to do those Roth conversions, um, maybe you're better off or better served for your beneficiary's sake uh, using those same dollars or distributions to buy a life insurance policy whether it's a single life, a second to die, some type of life insurance where you're, you can actually leverage uh, what you're going to leave behind or, or the gift that you're going to be giving to your beneficiaries, whether that's a person or a charity, what have you. Um, but you, will also, you, you could, if designed properly, could also have some living benefits for yourself. So a lot of the life insurance policies these days have long-term care riders or chronic care riders. Right. Um, you could build cash value and have your own bank, so to speak, if you, if you will, uh, within that policy. In other words, have capital or, or assets that you can access during your lifetime for, for things, maybe buying a car or going on vacation, what have you. Um, so you're using the same dollars, but you're getting more leverage. You're getting, I think better benefit overall for not only for yourself, but also for your beneficiaries. Right. And this all comes back to proactive planning. So Tom, if, if somebody wants to talk with you about these strategies to not only help their own tax situation, but again, the taxes of their beneficiaries, what's the best way to reach you? 
uh, either by phone, 973-394-0623. Uh, email address is tjoconnell at internationalfinancial.com. Uh, if you reach out to me, I can also send you a copy of the article that I wrote. Mm -hmm. uh, be more than happy to do that, um, share that with people, as well as answer anybody's questions that they might have with either a Roth conversion or this synthetic Roth idea that uh, we've been promoting for a number of years now. Yeah, such an important conversation. Tom, thank you very much. Thanks. Bye.